Congressman Emanuel Cleaver is a Democrat from Missouri and a member of the Congressional Black Caucus. In fact, you are it's a former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congressman, and thank you so much for being here. Sure, good to be with you. So your, the statement that came out of the Congressional Black Caucus was strikingly different from the statement made by President Obama. He emphasized uh, that people should be peaceful and nonviolent and that people should take their, uh, their, their, you know, their cares to the voting booth. But the Congressional Black Caucus was very blunt about what this case means for black lives in America. Why the dichotomy? Well, I think the president must be presidential at all times. Uh, and this president uh, has done that. And uh, it would have been inappropriate for the president to have said anything else uh, because, uh, I mean, he has to look at everything holistically uh, in terms of what is in the best interest for the entire nation. Uh, the Congressional Black Caucus uh, led uh, very ably, I might add, by uh, Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, who is an attorney and a former judge. Uh, looked at what happened in, in Ferguson, looked at what happened during the whole grand jury process, and concluded that uh, what happened actually leads further uh, to, to, to the further uh, furtherance of the, the, the distrust between African Americans and police, because African Americans uh, uh, all around this country uh, believe that uh, the police uh, represents uh, uh, an army patrolling an occupied territory. So she did, she was dealing, uh, I think, exclusively with uh, in the minority communities, uh, whereas the president has to think about the whole country. Uh, look, I, I, I have three sons. Uh, uh, my father uh, told me the same thing that millions of other African American fathers have said, and it's uh, it's this something like this. Uh, there are two creatures that don't live long. Uh, dogs that chase cars and black men who confront police officers. Uh, and so uh, I think everybody is trying to make sure that, that their young African American sons uh, respond respectfully to police because the history is there that if you don't, there could be a problem. And, and you know, and, and it's a very good point. Um, and I think all black parents can share uh, what you're saying and, and are familiar with that conversation. Uh, Perry Bacon, our colleague here at NBC News, uh, has written a piece where he talks about President Obama's sort of conundrum. Um, and one of the things that he writes um, is that some activists have urged President, uh, urged the creation of a national police czar to oversee local departments. Others have suggested requiring officers both to undergo racial bias training and to wear cameras on their bodies when they're interacting with the public. Um, would you support any of those changes, pointing out that you also the former mayor of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, if you were the mayor of a town like Ferguson, would you want those kinds of changes? And do you think those kinds of changes could even pass in the House? No, only one of them, I think, will have a chance to pass, and I will be introducing this legislation on Tuesday and just received a phone call from a senator uh, who said that he wanted to uh, join me in, in issuing, uh, introducing a Senate uh, version. And it is that uh, the federal government, through the Justice Department, would, would, would require all law enforcement agents interacting with the public to have body cameras. That's not conservative or democratic. It's not uh, uh, pathological in, in, uh, in terms of partisanship. Uh, it is a common sense thing. It means that it protects good officers, uh, and it condemns bad actors uh, who are in, uh, interacting with them. And so uh, I think we have to make dollars available for uh, uh, competitively for police departments to come after those dollars. But I think it, let, let's not allow this, uh, this tragedy to bypass us without something helpful coming from it. And so I intend to go back to Washington along with my uh, colleague uh, Lacey Clay and uh, Senator Booker who just called uh, and start talking to everybody about doing something positively. Uh, and, and this would, would, would be something that could go across, uh, I think, racial uh, and, uh, and political lines. And, that, and, 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 and when it's all over, we can say, boy, that was a turbulent time, but we got something out of it that will hopefully prevent this from happening in the future. Well, the nation will be watching, and hopefully you guys can uh, accomplish that. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, thank you very much, and happy Thanksgiving to you, sir.